Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor in chief over at the serverside.com and I'm going to show you how to install WordPress using the Bitnami stack. Now I'm going to perform this magic over on an Ubuntu image. Um, so I've got my little cuttlefish image right up here and I Google download Bitnami WordPress. That takes me to the Bitnami site. And right here it says, how do you want to install it? And I'm going to use the download for Linux. And it looks like it's got the on my computer option selected here. Notice you can do the Docker container um, on the cloud, virtual machine as well. In this case, because I've got a, a nice little Docker image I want installed and I want to be able to just kind of to go right in the file system and touch everything. Um, I'm going to use the Linux installation. Now, uh, do Bitnami a favor, uh, log in, say hello, thank them for what you're going to do. I'm going to say no, just take me to the download and save that file. And I think that's a pretty stand up thing to do, actually, that Bitnami has this thing where they can allow you to sidestep the registration. So thumbs up for them. It looks like that's downloaded. I can't believe that that's downloaded. I was actually going to go and um, <laughs> pause my recording. Uh, but it looks like that lightning fast download has happened. So that's in my downloads folder. The first thing I'm going to do, I just like to rename it. Bitnami-WordPress. That uh, just makes it a little bit easier to run in the terminal. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. Oh, you know what? It's not going to allow me to run it in the terminal. Oh, watch this. If I go sudo uh, dash uh, bitnami dash wordpress dot run put in the password for my server and it's going to say hey it, it can't actually do that um, and the reason for that I believe is because the permission does not allow executing this file as a program so I need to check that box it's a big deal right there again I just right clicked on it selected properties over to permissions and said allow executing this file as a program and now the world will change when I open this up in terminal, do the sudo dot slash WordPress, uh, bitnami dash WordPress dot run, throw in my password, and now we'll actually see the program install. I think it's going to install a, a couple of interesting things. It's going to install the MySQL database. It will install the Apache web server. What else will it do? I think it will install a PHP plugin, but I will accept the installation. Click next, varnish, WordPress, PHP admin. I think those all look solid. Going to put it in OPT WordPress. Uh, you can leave the numbers in there. I just like trimming it off. I'm just going to ask for my name. I just like to see steward, steward at example, steward. I, I don't like using the name user. Um, sometimes that can uh, cause a problem in some database queries. Uh, and also, um, user kind of implies a permission level on, on file systems. So I like steward. Um, and I'm going to make password all lowercase letters. So steward and password, I'm going to call the blog, uh, it's going to be um, Java in WordPress examples, because that's what I'm going to provide, some examples there. I'm not going to configure Gmail. Um, looks like uh, we want to launch it in the cloud. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but give that a try. As I said, uh, Bitnami does, something, does a lot of things well, and one of them is their cloud offerings. Uh, now that all of the nag screens are done, it's going to go through with the installation. I'm just going to pause this so that it magically installs very, very quickly. Oh, geez, maybe I don't even have to do any magic. And it's racing ahead well. Almost at 100%. Initializing the MySQL database. Creating databases. 
configuring WordPress, creating an uninstaller, and there we go. It looks like it's all completed. I'm going to say yes. Let's launch the Bitnami WordPress stack. So I'll click finish there. Maybe I didn't click it hard enough. Looks like I got this uh, option here to manage servers. Servers seem to be running. No unwelcome events. Go to the application. That should open up in a browser. And it didn't open up in a browser, but I'm uh, not too big a man to type in localhost. Um, that'll take me to my local browsers uh, landing page. You can see Bitnami says everything is up and running. Do you want to access WordPress? I do. Here it is, Java in WordPress examples, uh, just another WordPress site. Um, it says, uh, I don't know, what do I have some options to go in here and log in? I'll we'll use the name Steward. And password, so I'll log in. Looks like I have now successfully logged in. Can I create a, a first draft? This is my first Java examples post as steward. Wow, the content is shorter than the title. Okay, save draft. You can go over to posts here. I don't know, what do I do I have to do? I have to edit that and then publish it. Publish it immediately, looks good. Publish, publish. And now I can go back to my WordPress site. And there we go. This is my first Java examples post as steward by steward. Wow, the content is shorter than the title. And there you go, we've got the whole thing up and running. Now, one thing that is worth noting, just taking a look at where the installation happened, if I go into other locations, that'll take me to the root of the Ubuntu installation. I'll take a look in OPT, yeah, you know me, there's WordPress. And also we've got a CTL script here. Uh, by the way, if you wanna go and uh, stop and start, WordPress when the server starts up, you can just do sudo dot slash ctl script dot sh and say stop. Well, it's currently running, so we'll do uh, stop. Typed in the password wrong there, so that will stop the server. So now if I go back here and try and look at the page, it says unable to connect because that's a stopping of the server and now if I want to run it it's just sudo ctl script start and that's how you can stop and start your WordPress installation uh, when your server starts up and do it manually. There's MySQL starting on port 3306 and if I go back to WordPress everything is now running and there's that first post that I had. And so there you go. That's how easy it is to locally install WordPress using the Bitnami WordPress stack.